Our praise is to the Almighty, Sublime, Most Magical One, the Creator of all things and the Master of the Day of Judgment, our Father, and to our most beautiful Mother Marihala, we adore you, Mother, much love and respect, and hallelujah, hallelujah, all praises and glory go to the Most High. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, coming at you with some magical news. Abracadabra! Shalom and congratulations to all of my starseed out there that has elevated. Hallelujah! Yeah, and mastered your thoughts and, and mastered your energy and joined in this fight. I, I just want to have a little talk with you this morning, okay? And impart some wisdom to you from the 5D. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to take you on a magical journey. Yeah, we're just going to follow this magical road, okay? Because it's a lot of strange anomalies that are appearing. These look like more like ancient spiritual places. I don't know. I can't say that I... Uh, can identify or name everything that I find, but I can guarantee you this The things that you're gonna see is out of this world. Now. This is an exercise for my star seed united or for you 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 that uh Thought that this was hocus pocus Yeah, I thought it was some kind of evil magic or some kind of witchcraft No, 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 no. Now, you know the truth now you know the truth of things, that this is the Most High's magic, and there's many wonderlands that are appearing at the time of this great reset. Yeah, a lot of magical worlds. Now this one is still kind of heavily cloaked, as you can see where the colors are not prominent. Yeah, and, and some things that you might have thought was rocks or, you know, vegetation. You might you might identify some creatures on this magical journey. Yeah, so now we're going to, what I wanted to talk about is this matrix magic, which is hocus pocus. It's games, it's illusions, it's trickery, it's lies, it's mind control. All of that is hocus pocus. Yeah, but this is the most highest magic. And you must identify it as being a reality in your spirit man. Because we didn't come from this world, okay? And we're at the time of the Great Reset. That's why these lands, these magical lands of Eden are appearing on the earth. And the Most High wants us to see that this is real. It's real. Okay, it's like a lot going on under there. Yeah, so now we see the cloaking technology where the road ends right here and then it looks like sandy desolation. Yeah, and then it, and then it goes back into being colorful and the road turned blue. The sands are turning to more red. There's some blue over there. Yeah, this is what's happening to our world. Yeah. <laughs> You know, we are uh, descendants of Adam, you know, our great patriarch. Yeah, that walked and talked with the Most High. Believe me, it's more to that story than you know. Yeah, it's more to the story than we know. Yeah, just like we didn't know that there were lands of Eden. I haven't found a garden yet, by the way. But yeah, it's a lot more to this than we know, okay? It's not written in the 3D books. Yeah, so now, you know, somebody could be like a great, great, um, they're in another area. They might be a great teacher, you know, they might be a great singer, you know, they have their mission in this matrix that is just as vitally important yeah, yeah, but we, all star seeds have uh, vitally important magic right now, yeah, and it's weird, and it's different, 
you know and some of us only a few people resonate with what we're doing yeah it's like man it's like wow look at all of this look at all of this that I'm showing you and yet the views won't will barely get to 400 because people don't resonate with it because their mind is stuck in the 3d where is your star seed it's 5d now you're connected honey a citizen of the kingdom and that's why you are privy to some of these top secrets that the most high is showing us now yeah so those with the 3d mindset they won't understand it they will think it's hocus pocus yeah, but very shortly they won't. Just like the enemies of our souls. I'm sure in the beginning they were like, oh, this is a bunch of hocus pocus. Who does she think she is calling herself a magician? Yeah, we start going to the courts of the Most High. And believe me, some of them have a change of mind. Ready to repent. Yeah, because they see that the Most High's magic is real. It's real. It's not illusions. Yeah. It's not illusions. Yeah, and this is everything that we're seeing right now was all in the plan for us to see at this particular time. Yeah, and I caught a lot of things, you know, last year that's, you know, now it's all cloaked over. And so, yeah, this is the Most High is showing us his top secret things that were, hey, Enoch didn't even talk about what I show you. No, none of the prophets talked about this stuff appearing on this earth. So that's what I'm saying. You got it in order to elevate, you're going to have to get out of the 3D mindset and accept the truth for what it is, no matter what you thought it was. And that is a divine gift from the Most High. Yeah, if you don't have it, hey, I would ask him for it. Yeah, I would ask him for the gift to see what reality really is yeah because we're in a matrix yeah we are in a matrix that was all planned out by the almighty one yes and only a few can understand it yeah you know that we we're actually on the body of an angel this magic is real yes it's the most highest magic it's not fake it's real Nah, this ain't no hocus pocus, but it's definitely abracadabra, yes, honey, because we are manifesting things and the Most High is making it happen because we're his children. Yeah, the Most High is the most manifester. Yeah, he's the, the greatest manifester and we are his children and so now when we speak when we speak it's being heard hallelujah and that's our magic our magic is abracadabra yeah because when our words go out honey they go out and accomplish yes yeah, just like the most high our father yeah, y'all want me to tell you what these creatures are these are the creatures of Eden a lot of them you know, some of them, um, some of them are angels, but it's a lot of creatures of Eden that's appearing, yeah, and being uncovered. See, it's a lot of creatures we never even heard of before that's in these worlds, yeah. So you might see, you know, you might see a bird or something, and it might have one a face look like ours. You might see angels, yeah. Are those that glow. Yeah, these are creatures of Eden. Y'all see that Atlantean technology going through there? Yes, honey. These are magical lands because the Most High is most magical. And we came from magical lands. We came from magical dimensions. Okay, just like this one. This is a 5D dimension that's appearing right now. We're short timers, y'all. I told y'all that the Most High already have our transportation ready for us and many of us that have passports to go to many of these places and some of us will have limited passports 
until we learn what we need to learn. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I asked to be an ambassador. And so I am connecting you right now as an ambassador from the 5D dimension of kingdom and love and light. The kingdom of the most high. Yeah, I'm connecting you to that now as an ambassador. Yeah, hallelujah. Yes, may the most high open your third eye so you can elevate with us. Yeah, now I know that some of y'all that doubted what we're doing on my channel before. Now you're having second thoughts. Yeah, I'm talking about other star seed out there. You're having second thoughts about this magic stuff. Because your third eye is opening now. Yeah, your vision is getting more clear. And so you're starting to see the truth of what's going on here. Yeah, and, and hey, if, if you're feeling that and you see the results of joining, you know, energy, would our energy be a part of this battle? There's going to be great rewards. Yeah, they're going to be parades for Star C United, honey, because we are breaking generational curses on a worldwide level because we're connected to the 5D. We're citizens of the 5D now that was invited to the courts of the Most High. Yeah, that's angels y'all looking at. That's angels. Yeah, some of them are mer angels. More like uh, uh, that technology going through there too. Yeah. So listen, all you have to do is <laughs> all you have to do is to do it. Yeah. Next time you come to my station to check out what's going on, you know I don't care if you thought it was some kind of witchcraft or I was a witch before, but the Most High gave you a change of heart. And now you see the truth in these things. Forget all of that stuff. Hey, you guys, let me tell you. I have elevated to the point where I don't care. It's like if I move to do something, I will do it. And so while I was on vacation, because it had been on my mind and my heart to get a nose piercing. So, yes, honey, I got the left side of my nose pierced and ooh, I'm so excited and that represents so much yeah mainly protection yeah it's a sign of protection and believe me the things that we do for protection is magical yeah it's magical and it is respected too in the spirit realm yeah so I know that I'm highly protected honey and that's just my little symbol of it yeah, I know I'm prosperous. You know, it means that too. Yeah, hallelujah. So you might be doing some different things. Yeah, I'm a senior citizen, y'all. And I just got my nose pierced. <laughs> and I don't care what anybody thinks about it in this 3D. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. And I don't care and neither should you. And so if you have a change of heart towards all of this going on and you want to join in, you are welcome. You are so welcome because your energy joined with my energy, taking it to the courts of the Most High, has been very effective on some formidable enemies. Yeah, and I'm still sitting here. Hallelujah. I know the Most High is about to bless my socks off, honey. Yes, I'm a widow. I'm a widow, honey, living below the poverty level. Yeah, I told y'all my roof need to be repaired. Now I had a squirrel running in here because <laughs> they get dead. So now I got to try to block the squirrels. But I know the most I see all of that, honey. I ain't worried about nothing in this 3D dimension. Yeah. And so I, I'm asking the most high for all of us. Yeah, for all of us that are living under the poverty level. Yeah, I ask you, Most High and Mother, to bless us in this 3D. Make us some of the examples. Yeah, you said, those that are obeyed shall be exalted. So we see where you are basing our enemies, Father and Mother. Yeah, and you said that we were going to be exalted. 
And I ask that you exalt all of us, star seed. Yes, hallelujah, to show the world. To show the world that all your promises are true and amen. Yes, hallelujah. Okay, you guys, that's what I have for you today. Look forward to some blessings, honey. Start manifesting because we are being heard. The most I said in Revelation 2, 9, I know your tribulation and your poverty, but thou art rich. That's what he said. And so while we're talking and connected to the 5D dimension, Yes, what the Most High said, but thou art rich. That's my manifestation today. I am rich because the Most High said I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you gleaned some very positive energy to contribute to the kingdom of love and light on today. Yeah, maintain your high vibrations, honey. All praises to the Most High. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end it right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And thank you for all your support of this station and your gifts of love. May the Most High bless them 100-fold for whatever your hearts desire. Have a cadabra. Okay, until the next magical show, your big sister. The Hebrew Widow, the Hebrew Rose, the Jericho out. Shalom.